Hey, what's up everybody? Ryan with RNG Products. For today's video, we're going to do a simple unboxing of my new Laguna 14BX bandsaw. I went ahead and went with the 220 volt single phase version for my shop. Now I picked this off about six months ago, but I've been so busy rearranging and assembling my CNC machine that I'm just now getting a chance to get this thing unboxed. So today I'm just going to basically take you through uh, bringing the box home, opening it up, what's inside the box. Uh, real quick basic assembly on it and then in the future I plan on doing a full breakdown um, after I've got some time with the bandsaw. And as always, big thank you to everybody that supports this channel. We're constantly growing. If you're new here, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. And for those of you that do watch my content, be sure to drop a comment and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And I also really like to respond to everybody's comments. All right guys, let's jump right into it and open this bad boy up.
As you can tell, this was a very easy bandsaw to set up. I was able to get it unboxed and out of the package, stood up all by myself. The amount of assembly required was very marginal. It probably took me 20 minutes overall just to get everything set up. I still do need to install a bandsaw blade on this and then I could go ahead and work on truing everything up and making sure everything's square and aligned and perpendicular and all that fun stuff. Um, you always have to do that anytime you get a new bandsaw and it's always a good idea to make sure that if you're utilizing an existing bandsaw, take the time and go through and properly set it up. It makes a big difference when you're working with a bandsaw. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, this is Laguna's new 14BX series, and this version comes in a 110 volt single phase and a 220 single phase as well. Since I do have 220 single phase, I opted to go with that unit. They are both the same price and both of them work pretty well. I do intend to do some pretty thick resawing, so that's where the 220 really shines a little bit stronger than the, one, the 110, so it's not necessary that you have to get the 220. It's just for me and my purposes, I really wanted to get that 220. So overall guys, I'm pretty happy with the build, the fit and finish of the machine. Obviously I haven't fired it up and used it, so I can't give you any feedback on that home front. Now Laguna was nice enough to send me out a Resaw King uh, bandsaw blade, so this next coming week I'm gonna get that installed. And once I get some time on the machine, I plan to do a breakdown video on what I like, what I dislike, and how the machine's performing overall. And if you've been interested in that Resaw King blade, I'm gonna make a dedicated video Video on that blade as well. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. We'll catch you guys on the next video.